Hey guys and welcome to the Domain Hunter Gatherer video guide series. In this video I'll be going over the main controls for automatically getting a list of expired age domains that can be picked up for just the price of registration and by the price of registration I mean the $5 to $12 that it costs to register any domain. The great thing with a lot of these domains is that they existed at one point as a whole website and as such will have some history, backlink profile and possibly actual traffic and these will all come along with the domain. So to begin with there are two main ways of finding these great domains. The first, as you see here, is to enter a keyword or keywords and have Domain Hunter Gatherer do all of the searching of Google, Bing and Yahoo and crawling to find domains related to your keywords. The other option is to enter in a website or list of web pages to crawl to find available domains from. Doing this will prevent Domain Hunter Gatherer from doing any searching. The crawling method is great for finding domains that have a link from a specific authority website as that lends a lot of credibility to a domain. Authority industry or news websites, for example, provide some great expired domains. For this video, I'll be using the searching method to find related domains and I'll be using just one keyword just to show how to use the controls in general. So to get started hunting and gathering a large list of domains to decide on which ones you want to purchase, all you need to do is enter in your search keyword into the search keyword input right here. For this example I will be using one keyword but you can actually enter in a list of keywords providing they are separated by a comma. Obviously entering more keywords will add more work but should result in more domains overall. The crawl level is how deep the crawler will go to find domains. Setting this to zero will mean only the domains in the search results will be checked for availability. Setting this to one will have Domain Hunter Gatherer visit the, the pages from the search results to find new domains on those pages to check for availability. A crawl level of two will then crawl those pages for new domains and so on. The number of pages to crawl and therefore work to do will increase exponentially with every new level. So if there are a thousand pages to crawl at level one, there could be 10,000 at level two and then a million at level three and so on. The actual numbers will depend on the keywords being used, but ultimately it is generally ideal to keep the, the crawl levels relatively low as to prevent an endless cycle of crawling from occurring. So to start searching, all we need to do now is hit the search button. Now we can see that the searcher is hard at work finding lots of web pages related to our keyword. When the searching is finished, Domain Hunter Gatherer will proceed to visit each of these pages looking for pages on other domains. These domains will then be checked in the next step to find if any of them are still available. Now we can see that the searching has finished and Domain Hunter Gatherer has found 4,700 unique web pages from the search. Because we set a crawl depth of 1, it is now going to visit every one of those pages to find all of the links to the new domains and then check these domains to see if any of them are available. Now we see from the 4,700 unique web pages, Domain Hunter Gatherer has found 16,800 unique domains to check for availability. You should start to see available domains appearing almost straight away. Some of these domains will have quality stats comparable or even better than domains worth hundreds of dollars. So this is where the real gold in domaining is. If you can find domains with good stats, you could purchase them right now for just $10 or less and then go and flip it right away on one of the auction sites. As with everything, you can set this up and walk away, allowing it to go off and find a bunch of domains without you really having to do anything. I will stop this here and skip to the end of this process where we can see what domains we have actually gotten from this process. So now we can see that Domain Hunter Gatherer has finished checking the availability of all of the domains and it has managed to find 233 available expired domains from that one search keyword. Now these domains have a variety of lengths and stats but from here we can easily and quickly check the quality of these domains to see which ones are worth snapping up right away. To do this, all we need to do is go to the Analyze Domains tab and hit the Start Analysis button and Domain Hunter Gatherer will go and check all of the important stats of the domains for us. I will be doing videos specifically on how to analyze your domains list as well as saving and loading your domains list for later use, so keep an eye out for those if you want to see more on those subjects. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding this video, you can post them in the comment section, create a support ticket in the members area, or email me at support at domainhuntergatherer.com. 
The expired Domain Hunter is included as part of the Pro version of Domain Hunter Gatherer that is currently available for just £37 per month. With this you have unlimited use and no restrictions whatsoever of the entire Domain Hunter Gatherer suite of tools, including the Web 2.0 Hunter and the Domain Auction Hunter. On top of this, there is a rolling 30 day money back guarantee, so if at any time you decide you don't like having access to the ultimate tool for domaining for gold, then just let me know and you will receive your latest payment back in full. Once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.